Many thanks to Tony Gray there on bass. Fantastic. So today, every phrase will start on the third degree of the F7. Okay? Phrase one. Lovely. First few notes. From the third, chromatically up to the fifth. Really important, these notes in jazz. So, you could cut this phrase into three, and every little chunk would be a lovely phrase as well. Second chunk. Woo. Just enjoying playing that around the cycle of fifths, sir. Then the last part. Redolent of C minor. The whole phrase now. Phrase two. There's a little bit of if I had you there. Recognize it? These first four notes are very similar to the first phrase. And the first phrase? Okay, that's five notes. Love that. Chromatic, down to the flat and seventh. Once more. Love that. Next phrase. The first three notes, or first four notes. Amazing notes, these. Recognize it? Beautiful. Just those notes. Okay, then that is the Randy Brecker approach that we saw in video two. Thanks, Randy. And then that goes back to the honeysuckle rose lick.
So the whole phrase. By the way, that low chromatic note, auxiliary note. Okay, let's have a quick mate. The next phrase is a beauty, even though I say it myself. One, two, three, fa, do ba, ba do ba, ba da, da, ba da, do ba, ba do ba, ba da, ba, ba do. So it's full of sixths. Once more. But I put an approach note in, a chromatic, like cheeky note there. One version of this would have been this. Amazing. But I thought that was a little bit too straightforward, so I took out a note. One more time. The next lick pays homage to Freddie Hubbard. I was so lucky to see Freddie Hubbard when I was very young, about 15, at Ronnie Scott's. Blew my brains. And I'm quite sure I've heard him play that. At least this part. So that is an approach to the tonic from the third. Okay, and then another approach from the sharp and fourth. The whole phrase. If you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment so I will know to make more. The next phrase is this. A one, two, three, four, one. That features chromatic notes, approach notes, up the two target notes of the fifth. And then the same to the third. And I link them together. And then going down to the third. A one, two, three, four, a one. Ba ba da ba da ba do be do ba do be do ra ba da ba do ba do be do ba do be da. Starts on beat two. One. Down the bebop scale, starting on the third. That's the bebop scale, and starting on third. Then up the E flat major seven. So the scale is kind of you hit the flat in seventh, then it's deflected, and then it comes down, and then it goes up a bit, then down again. Nice. Next phrase. Again. Here are the on-beat notes. So we've got some motion. So we're kind of surrounding that uh, fifth 
of the F7. But now with the other notes. There's the approach to the fifth, starting on the sharp and fourth. The last part. I like the way the phrase ends on beat four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Ba ba do ba ba da. It's like making an appointment with beat four. Ba ba do ba ba da. Lovely. So the last phrase. So this is full of approach notes. Approaching the flat in seventh. Then to the fifth. Then to the third. And they're all strung together. To finish, let's listen to the bass and the sax once more. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you.